I have never seen anything so beautiful in my life. What's up guys, it's Dwayne back again for another video, back in for a reaction of today's a great, wonderful, amazing, incredible, delicious, beautiful day because it's a Sweden day. Did we find the best meatballs in Sweden? Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. We needed to find. Oh, that could have, I could have done like that, but let's start again. Yes, everyone. Now we're in Stockholm. Of course, we needed to find some Swedish meatballs. We've got it on very good authority that this behind me, Pelican, is the spot. Let me know if you know where he is in Sweden right now. He's saying this place called the Pelican is the best spot for meatballs. Now, Swedish meatballs, I've had IKEA Swedish meatballs, but have I really had the real thing? A lot of people say it's quite close to the real thing, but I want to try the real thing in Sweden. So let me know if Pelican is, as he's saying, the spot to go for Swedish meatballs. Let me know in the comment section below. Let's go and eat. Now, if you saw a video a couple of days ago, we had a meatball debacle. Oh. <laughs> Courtesy of Kemal. Big Ken, thank you. Big Ken. So last night, we were in a restaurant and they said, this is the spot. Um, and, uh, it was a nice restaurant too. And they know that this is the chefs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We asked them where's good. Yeah, this is the spot. And straight away, look at this. So apparently this is... Oh. <laughs> did you say this is the... Uh, this, is a, this is a Swedish restaurant. Yeah, right? Scandinavian so, cuisine. So they've got, uh, obviously on the menu, the meatballs. What we've come for today. Hello. Hello. How are you? It kind of feels like we've come back in time a little bit. It's candles. It's cool, isn't it? Real candles. The table. Yeah. Very yep. fancy. A huge bay window behind you there. Um, Absolutely gorgeous. Fine. It's like a banquet hall, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, very nice. I feel like some sort of a Beauty and the Beast would be or something like that. Another side here that can open for you. Is it beautiful? It's very Shall we? Let's go. Shall we see the other side? Oh, I'm really excited for this. I'm really, really excited. Obviously, maybe the main reason I wanted to come was to get some proper meatballs. And the first experience wasn't all that, you know? Yeah. This man's fault. <laughs> I didn't mean it. It had good reviews, yeah. didn't it? He had good yeah. Google reviews, so yeah. what, what were we, how were we meant to know? For a, we know for a fact this is the spot. Oh. You can tell they're bringing them to the best part of the restaurant because they're like, oh, they're filming for YouTube. This is great promotion for our restaurant, which is it's true. Because me, right now, I'm looking at this and thinking, huh, Pelican, meatballs. Best place in Sweden. Maybe I should go and maybe maybe I should go to that restaurant and try it if the food looks good. So they're gonna do the best work, right? Oh, here we go. Wow, look at this. Wow. Yeah, get a camera out and just keep going. <laughs> oh, no, you get it. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. Wow. Oh. This is incredible. It's nice, yeah. So can I ask you now? I've got you alone. The meatballs <laughs> are they the best? Absolutely. Yeah. What makes them so incredible? It's okay. a very very old recipe. Is it? Yes, so the size of them too. Big. I think it's about 90 gram at wow. least. Oh, well, that's, a, that's yeah. a big meatball. Wow. And is it that's beef? That's a big meatball. No, it's both beef and pork. Beef and pork, interesting. So they mix the meat. Is our, our Swedish meatballs traditionally beef? Or do you sometimes use pork? Or is this just his particular recipe? Because that's quite interesting that he's decided to mix two different meats to make these meatballs. Hmm. If, you, if you do it on the beef, it's going to be very hard, you know. Mm. So you mix ah. it so it's going to be a bit uh, softer. Softer, exactly. More yeah. juicy. Yeah, yeah. You can get meatballs with other meats as well, is that right? Yeah. In different parts of the country? Sure, sure. Yeah. All right, good stuff. Do you have okay. another dining room? No. This is an incredible. Uh, what a place. Huge high ceilings. It's yeah. massive. Lovely venue. Wow. Nice. Wow. I bet you do a few Swedish wow. weddings in here, huh? A few, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. So this is like... Very pretty. So they obviously have parts of the restaurant where you can rent it out and have banquets, have weddings, have uh, parties maybe. Pretty nice. Let me know if you've been here. Let me know. Uh, this restaurant, I know you do more than just meatballs here. It's for traditional, yeah, yeah, traditional yeah, Swedish yeah. food. No, you have the pork knuckle, you have the reindeer, you have meatballs, bacon. Reindeer, pork knuckle. Oh my God, I have to go. I have to go, if it's good, if it's good, that's great. Um, I have to go and just like 
I can just kill like two birds with one stone and have like all these Swedish dishes and try them with you guys. What do you think? Can uh, wow. dog school put your family guys? So if you come into Stockholm and you want to get some traditional Swedish food, this is the spot. Stockholm. Absolutely. But we know what we've come here for today, and that's meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> better be better than I care. <laughs> See, when we cleaned the walls last summer, if you look at the corner up there, black from smoking day. <laughs> so that dark stuff is what yeah, all exactly. the walls oh, look from, like. From, from yeah. smoking? Exactly. You know, 100 years of smoking, you get stains like that, you know. <laughs> wow. <Yeah. laughs> and you only cleaned it last summer, last after summer, hundreds of years? Yes. From 1904 until last summer, how much is it? It's 110 years. Was there, was there an argument to leave the smoke? On the wall, or did everyone want to clean it? No, we just want to clean. We cleaned the pictures, you know, the pictures before and that wall. That, that is cool. That is really cool. This is the smoke for 17 years. Yeah. That wall over there. Every time you look at it, you'll find something new. <laughs> it's really. What is it? What is it? That's a bit. Let me just look so much detail in the wall. Is this. Uh... Wow. Wow. Who is the cameraman? I'm sorry, who is the cameraman? Because his hand is not steady. I don't know if he needs stabilization on the cam, or he needs a tripod, but man. But I'm um, going back to the detail, gorgeous. What an amazing place this is. Rush. It's good. It's big meatballs. Yes. Big meatballs. Big. You like big balls? Don't you? <laughs> What's this? What's whipped butter? Here we go. Look at this. Got some breads. Oh, I can smell the yeast. Yeah. I'm genuinely, obviously, we've just seen someone's meatballs. They look great. They look great. Yeah, you're excited. Yeah, look at that berry in there and the. And the Excuse me, I've Whoa, that was fast. Oh, that, was, that was so fast. <laughs> Just here, please. Thank you. Of course. How are you? It's good. And you? Very good. Very good. <laughs> oh, Whoa. and you're here. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. I can pick you up before you rip it. That did not take long to come out. No. We pre that's pretty, pretty much. What is the guy doing with the camera? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry to detract from the meatballs, but the meatballs have just arrived and they've just been put on the table and the camera is not looking at the meatballs. I mean, it's like common sense, right? You don't even have to be a cameraman to be like, oh, the meatballs have arrived. Let's see the meatballs. <laughs> no? Okay. Fair enough. Pretty much live. We've just yeah, ordered, yeah. recorded, so however, however long that was, exactly how long it took to get a chat about the I'm wall. I'm still waiting to see the meatballs. <laughs> Let's move some stuff so you guys get at home oh, and right, really right, get right. an idea of oh, my what we're eating. I have never seen anything so beautiful in my life. Those are the most luscious, beautiful, delicious looking meatballs I have ever seen. Damn. <laughs> Let me know if you've been here for a third time. Let me know in the comment section if you've been here because those meatballs look incredible. Do you want to get up on your life for a second, right? Yeah, wow. Thank you. Oh, you're oh, good, you're good. Oh. <laughs> Let's um, show you oh my God, that just too bright, how man. incredible. I need to put that way down. <laughs> All right, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Just oh, so wow. I can show you. Yeah, I mean, wow. It just gets better. Just how technical and brilliant that looks. The sauce. Wow. I've got an amazing. I mean, wow. Amazing shimmer to it. And the meatballs, yes, they are large. They are, they're really big. Just how we like it. You look moody with that light. Thanks. <laughs> and look at the, uh, the mash too. Sorry, there we go. Yeah, very silky mash as well silky smooth sexy ladies and gents this is what we've come for get out oh. we're basically in pitch black now no no you're good can I you see it's all right yeah you look great it's a lovely color the bread good but we're not here for that yeah oh oh my god <laughs> they're good Oh, I love those authentic reactions. <laughs> <Isn't it? laughs> yeah. We're having a quick that, little break yeah. and then just... That little reaction, yeah. now I'm going to have the second bit. Let's yeah. talk about that for a second. Yeah. That little reaction is something you'll never get from these 
Instagram as they do these nice reels with their scripted voiceovers. Yeah. There's time and a place for it. Good content, but that real yeah. emotional yeah. feeling you yeah. get when you eat something. Because that developed in my mouth as I chewed it. It came alive. Have some. Tell me what you think. Here you go, look. Let's see if you uh, resonate. And the boys are already flagging now because we've just been behind the scenes. We had Adam's Smokehouse about 20 minutes ago. Yeah. And you, you all saw how good that food looks. So. Yeah. These boys loaded up on it. So. <laughs> Like that, chew, chew. It breaks down, and develops. Mm. Yeah, it's delicious. Good mm. bread. Mm. I love Gosh. homemade bread. You know, like proper, like homemade, yeasty, crispy on the outside, soft in the middle bread, and then with like good butter. Oh my god, I want bread with butter. <laughs> I just realised I want bread with butter. Um, yeah. I miss bread. I haven't had bread in a long time. I'm, I'm, on, I'm, I'm currently on a kind of diet where, you know, it's low carb. And I haven't had bread for a while, but I love some good bread with some good butter. There's no, you can't beat it. You cannot beat homemade bread as well. Delicious. Oh, wow. Yeah, it does. Yes. It develops. Well, better. So as previously discussed, this is a restaurant not just for meatballs. Authentic. Swedish food. Now, this is not a tourist spot. This was recommended by a chef last night. So, I was genuinely chef. excited for this. Okay. He said these are the best meatballs in Sweden. The best in Sweden. Now, they look the best in Sweden. He said a chef recommended to them. So, I, I think it's, I'm going to find this link after I finish watching it. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put it in the description so you guys can find it. And also, I'm going to have to research it myself and definitely go when I go to Stockholm. This is big. I don't know. This is really big. I'm excited for him to just <laughs> go you get your fuel lines and forks. Let's get, get some. Yeah, no, we'll go on, let's see the money shot. Yeah, let's, right. see, let's see that money shot, man. Oh, that. Uh, Look, butter. Okay, so straight away yesterday, the. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. You had that chunky mince pressed together and you could see the pieces of mince. This looks like oh. one solid piece of elite meatball. Oh, yeah, Can you see that? It's a perfectly binded. Perfectly yeah. binded. That's yeah. the word. Before even the burger shop, the first one we went to, looked like unbinded meat and yeah. in your mouth created a weird yeah, like texture. He's breaking apart, down but you, things, it's yeah. falling apart, it wasn't together. That looks exceptional. Now, every experienced meatballer out there will know Normally you'd have piece by piece just to try for but no, not the meatballs. You're gonna get it all on together. This is it. Technically this is what I'm coming for. Up she goes everyone. God bless. Wow. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm definitely going there then. <laughs> Look at his face! <laughs> He's serious, he's like, this is delicious. Please, come. Come round, boys. That is... Uh... Better than Ikea? <sighs> I don't think we can answer that question yet, can we? <laughs> that is... Alright. Romantic. I said romantic. Just made me happy. <laughs> really, oh, wow. really happy. That is buttery, silky mash. You've got a tang to the sauce, but you've also got that. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, he man. Said, he said, oh my god. <laughs> now you know that is a good meatball. He said, oh my god. Wow. So it must be good. I'm coming here. I don't know where it is. I'm going. It's very quiet though. I'm, I'm, um, I don't know. When a restaurant is quiet, I have to kind of, you know, think to myself, why is it quiet? Because normally a restaurant that's very popular will be busy every day of the week. But there it seems very quiet. Is it quiet because it's very expensive? Is it quiet because this is during COVID maybe? I, I don't think so. They're all well, not wearing masks. Um, why is it quiet? That's, that's my only issue is that it's quiet in there and I don't trust restaurants that are quiet. But 
the reaction speaks for itself. And obviously, the meatballs are good. Ben. No, no, please, please, help me out. That just was like an explosion of flavours in my mouth. <laughs> wow. That, that, see, the, that meatball just tasted just so quality. The flavour, the mash, that pickled bit of cucumber. Oh my god, cucumber. man, that's really special, isn't it? They're very London. Yeah. Moorish, proper that Moorish. That's, really what special. that's what you want yeah, from meatballs. Yeah. It's gravy is unquestionably the star of the show. It's the bind that brings everything together. Um, there's something in here that I can't work out. What do you think? That is mind-bendingly beautiful. Poetic in your mouth. Look at that. That's going all in my mouth in one go. Wow. <laughs> Wow. Candle lit chem. Like a python? <laughs> also, bottled Pepsi. Tastes better when it's in glass bottles, doesn't it? Tastes what better. are you saying, Kem? Oh, it's delicious, man. What chicken is it? I think it's made with chicken stock. It's definitely some kind it's of like... like yeah. yeah. Port, yeah. Chicken port. stock. It looks like chicken stock gravy because of the colour in it. It looks quite light. Um, I've seen a lot of pork stock, maybe. It's deep, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. It's sort of like it's been reduced and reduced. It's, it's powerful, deep, it's, it's silky, also it's... creamy and silky. Yeah. It brings it all together, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a stunning plate of food, man. That yeah. is a stunning plate of food. I don't think it gets much more heartwarming than that sort of food for me. It's really, like, a bit like bangers and mash, you know, at, yeah, at home. Yeah, that sort yeah, of like yeah. smooth, easy to eat, really filling. Bangers and mash, I haven't had that in a long time. Basically, meatballs is kind of like that, isn't it? Like, your meatballs and mash is like our bangers and mash. If you don't know what bangers and mash are, it's like sausages and mashed potato with gravy. Pretty similar to this. Um, and we love that. It's a very, it's a very winter, winter, winter warming food. We have bangers and mash in winter. Do you have meatballs and mash mostly in winter? Or is it like a year round thing? Um, we have it year round, the bangers and mash, but. Uh, winter is definitely a winter warming food. Warming no foods, no frills. Like just, it's simple go. stuff done really, really well. That's bloody brilliant. And it all really comes from the comes from meatballs. That is the meatball we came here for. Do you remember the fella's name that recommended this? No. No, unfortunately not. Well, if you watch him, thank you so much. God, can you imagine if. We came to Stockholm and we somehow missed, missed this coming here. That meat is brilliant. Perfect. I'm going there. They've sold it to me. I don't even need to see reviews or anything else, but when you've got three people saying that is delicious, I think it's... Uh, but let me know. If there's somewhere better, I trust you guys even more. If there's somewhere better than here for meatballs, I trust you guys even more. Yeah. Let me know in the comment section. Perfectly bound. That also tastes historic. I've got to go again. Historic. historic bro. He said that, didn't he? He said it's a very old recipe. Mm. Powerful stuff, bro. See, sometimes you don't fuck with shit. <laughs> Why? Why do you need to? Something's not broken. Yeah. Don't change it. Don't change it. Ladies and gents. Yeah, we have it. Swedish meatballs. If you've enjoyed any part of this video, come in here. <laughs> Give it the video. I love that the entire video is just this one place he's gone to for Swedish meatballs. That's how you know they're proper. A thumbs up. Tell us where you want us to go next. Savage Simon, Big Kem from CP Packaging. Time for scoreboards. What are you going to score this? I don't think I'm... Best meatballs in Sweden. I'm, uh, I, I'm not credible enough to score this, but I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Like you know, easily new, new, new score. Eleven out of fucking ten. Eleven ten out, out of ten. ten. Ten out of ten. Wow, love that. Yeah, I'm gonna go over ten as well. There's nothing to change about that nothing. at all. Like nothing. He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He's like, is it a ten? Maybe it is a ten. He's deliberating in his head, like he's not too sure, but he, he, he wants to give it a 10, but he's like, is anything a 10? 
That's what he's thinking in his head. But he's gonna, I think he's going to give it a 10. <laughs> Could it be two in a row? We're going soft. I don't know, the food here has just been it's great. Gone too nice. No, yeah, I can't do it. Just start principle. Sorry. See, I told you. He's thinking in his head. Nine Can eight. I give it a 10? Like, nothing's a 10. You say 9 out of 10? Just start principle. Sorry. 9 8. Why? You tell me. Un unbeatable. Unmatched. I've got to leave a slight bit of breathing room there because I need oh, a third. Eight. Thought Mick was worth <laughs> I'm going to be semi professional here. 9.8. 9 9.8. 9 Fan. Fantastic. That's the sort of score we have to stop the bus and get down there. If you're ever in this part of Sweden, Stockholm, come and try this place. Traditional food. God knows what the rest of the menu's like. What do you say? Pork knuckle, reindeer. bacon, yeah. ham, reindeer. Milk. Reindeer. You know. Get down here, you know if, this, if that's going to be to this sort of standard. Absolutely bloody brilliant. I have to go. I, ha I have to go. And you, know, you know, I might even call the restaurant before I go and say, listen, I'm going to film this um, for my channel, for you guys, and I'm going to try the recipes, just so you know. I, 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 this has sold me on this restaurant, wherever it is in Stockholm, I'm going. I love the aesthetic, I love the way it looks. I just, yes, it's happening. <laughs> it's happening, guys. I'll see you guys real soon. We're going to have another six plates of this, shall we? Yeah, Fewer if you want. <laughs> you said you could eat 20 IKEA meatballs. <laughs> yeah, I could four or five plates of that. I mean, wow. it really... It this is my easy. jam, bro. It, this is the sort of food that I could sit down and really chat yeah. into. Yeah. And if, if you feel a bit sad... Yeah. Yes. Saturday yes. night telly. It's just a hug on a plate. Yeah, yeah. it's literally like... <laughs> yeah. It's just a fucking... Yeah, it's a hug on a plate. I've got one of them where I live. I go to the cafe and get... Mashed potato, lamb chops, gravy... Out of a cafe. Yeah, yeah, out of a yeah. cafe. <laughs> Low level nonsense, no disrespect, Alex Scaff, I love ya. Six <laughs> Low level nonsense. Oh sorry, that's my friend that runs the cafe. <laughs> Chops, mash, gravy, mint sauce, and that's my thing. If I go by myself, you know if you're feeling a bit you need a bit of mat time. Yeah. I... Oh my god. Sorry, let's not look at any other that I'm gonna subscribe though because his food the food that yes. Um <laughs> Honestly, I understand from his description as another Brit what he means by going down to the cafe, getting no nonsense, traditional food, mashed potatoes, bangers and mash, Sunday roast. You know, I feel like we have that in common. The Swedes and the Brits have that in common in terms of the food is kind of warm. It's like a warm hug, it's a warming food. It's like, it's not too crazy, there's not too much flavor, not too much spice, there's not too much, you know, it's just, it does what it needs to do. Do you know what I mean? I, and I get it, and I'm definitely going here. My mouth, I'm salivating right now. I can't really speak, because it's full of foam, because I'm so hungry, looking at all that delicious. Those meatballs looked incredible. Wow. Again, guys, let me know in the comment section if there's anywhere you think does better meatballs than this place. I'm gonna link it in my description. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you very soon.